Hello and welcome back to this new video. Today we are gonna talk about a lot of things. Animation is the most requested thing. Walk cycles. Everyone wants walk cycles. Okay, let's start. Let's start importing or just uh, grabbing a model real quick. Okay, so why I am working with this cat again is to show you like there's so many things to this cat that I want to explain. For example, some people ask me how I got the fur on the cat. Well, the fur is quite easy. The only thing is is that it doesn't work on uh, Eevee. <laughs> it only works with cycles. You can make it work on Eevee, but I like cycles way better. Uh, I did. I just did that by pressing Ctrl Alt. Uh, zero on the numpad to move your camera right there okay so the hairs the only thing I did here is uh, I created two vertex groups hair oh, oh a few actually one for the hair body if I just go into edit mode and select this you can see that it's basically the body just selected uh, and if we deselect that and deselect this this is just a face selected this is because I wanted two different materials for the hair and I couldn't get it except if I didn't, well, make uh, two separate hair particle systems settings. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on that, I will make one. Uh, just let me know if you do. Okay, there's another thing I want to show you for a quick tip and that is corrective, uh, smooth corrective, I think it's called. Craft corrective smooth well um, what this does basically is just uh, it makes your whole model look way better so if we just rotate our arm I mean rotate our arm a little bit like that this looks pretty normal just like that yeah but when we turn off our smooth corrective you will see a load a buttload of weird glitches almost and fractures and weird uh, looking uh, miss whatever miss movements uh, yeah happening so uh, let's just turn that up again that looks beautiful and we want to alt G alt R for the reset of the location and rotation okay uh, I rigged or not, not rigged I just made an IK I set up IK for this model uh, so that basically just means that you can move the arm like that. Uh, I made a video for that. I'll leave the video in the des description. But, oh Jesus Christ, I'm having trouble talking again. You will noticing me doing that. Okay, a few notes for this cat. I'll let you see what I did here for the face. So it's quite hard to actually get this face right. So uh, I just did it the way I think it looked best. Uh, I made a mask. I basically just got into texture paint and I went, uh, I made a new texture and I just painted all over his face. Where is the mask mask? Right there. I painted a white area of whiteness um, and what that does basically I used that texture uh, by the way you have to save it first because it won't reappear if you don't save it if you then the next time you start a file okay so I, I made uh, I, I imported the texture here and I basically just uh, took the normal D texture the diffuse I plugged it in uh, this kind of <laughs> I plugged it in with these faces and I did that with the alpha plugged into the vector and the color plugged into the color and then I added the color from the mask into another mix node uh, I, add, I added it to the color vector um, and the color to the color and the diffuse to the another color oh my god I'm I'm confusing I'm very confusing. Okay, what I did here is I just scaled the faces down uh, by yeah, two, and I made a few uh, of these mix uh, mix colors combine with combine X Y Z uh, coordinates. And because why did I do that? Because I have a driver right here that makes him go wow faces yeah and you can do this for yourself but for the sake of your unwillingness to do this i'm gonna leave the link to this model in the description below okay so what the most people ask for is to make 
a walk cycle. Walk cycles are really popular in a lot of ways from movies. They're being used in movies, they're being used in amateur work, they're being used in professional work. It's, it's just walk cycles are amazing and I'm gonna make a basic walk cycle. I'm gonna show you how to do it today. Um, okay, so first thing, let's make a basic pose. Uh, if you want to walk cycle, you have to disable, uh, you can disable IK like I'm going to do because you don't really need IK for walk cycles. Uh, yep. Okay, let's make a basic pose. I'm gonna add a plane to make it just a little easier. And we're going to animate the legs first because uh, easiness, you know, efficiency. Efficiency. Uh, bleh, bleh. Okay, turn on auto recording or whatever it's called. I'm gonna set this to one, I'm gonna set this to 30 because we don't need a lot of frames for a walking cycle and it's cycling so it will, won't take, yeah, it's, it's cycle, check, check, la, ka, ka. So we want to go to frame one, so select all the bones by pressing A, press I, lock rod skill, awesome. And now they all have been keyframed. Handy, okay. Now we can go, now we can go to the 10th frame. I'm probably going to adjust these a lot, these frames, like that, and just like that. By the way, you can always use a sample. You can always record yourself walking if you want a, a specific walk, walk, blah, blah, uh, or just a specific animation. You can. It's best to record yourself doing the animation exactly like you want it. Uh, if you want something to look very good, it takes a little bit more time uh, to do something uh, like that because you have to look over to your damn example. No, it's not an example. Translate doesn't help in any way. Okay, let's just move the leg like that, that. Uh, before we do that, no, I'll just make a move like that, like that. Make this one go like that, but we want to make sure that's not like all the time. So right there, we just want it to be like that. So yeah, awesome. Uh, we have to do something like, let's slide it over a little bit. Something like that. And make him go like that, that step on the ground. Awesome. And when he is in this phase, I'll make sure that when he's in this kind of phase, his spine is moved like that. Or he just, his pelvis. When he's in this phase, he's kind of like, yeah. Just like that. And let's make this move a little bit like that. And to make sure we're looping the animation you want to duplicate the first frame and put it right there just to make that animation loop perfectly and uh, do that with the other foot too and just like that and if you're not happy with your animation you can just slide with keyframes and yeah it will look good eventually eventually duplicate that just like that duplicate this just like that and we never animated this foot Why do you do what you do? Stupid pelvis. Just move like a normal pelvis would move. Okay, just like that. Foot right there. Just like that. Foot right there. Just like that. Foot right there. Just like that. And end frame, keyframe. Move that a little bit, move that a little bit, move that a little bit. I mean, it's sort of looking like a walk cycle, but uh, the IOM he is gay. And some movements don't look very smooth. And there's a few tricks for that. I just saw this foot. It never leaves the ground. Now it does. 
Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm making these sloppy toes. I'm making them toes sloppy just because it's funny to make slop, sloppy toes. Just like that. Sloppy toes. There you go. There you go. Sloppy toes. Make them move exactly the way you don't want. The foot doesn't move. Like that. And you don't really see it, but the pelvis often, often moves so that the legs always don't, so that the legs don't stretch, get enough space to move. Oh damn, he can't be, <laughs> he can't be floating like that though. So I will just put that right there, put that right there. But you don't want to see that movement, so we are just going to make him straight uh, again, uh, just like that. Not make him all straight, because we want to use more parts of his body to make him go straight. There you go. We're going to use this bone right here to make him go straight. No, 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 not that bone. This bone right here. Actually, you shouldn't grab these bones at all. Uh, I'm just making things up right now. You should use the upper, the, the lower two bones. Oh my God. Now he looks like a sexy cat. I mean, if that's what you're going for, do what you want to do. And his walk cycle doesn't look that amazing. But we're gonna smooth it out later, so don't worry about it. Damn, why am I doing this? Like this. Okay. You might want to animate the arms, but I'm just gonna slightly animate them. Because we want a normal walk cycle, not like a very cartoony walk cycle. Look, it's a cat, and he's walking. He's doing his job he's walking he's just walking he's being happy because he's walking and we're gonna animate these arms too because arms love to be animated as well just like that do that with the other arm too do that with the hand if you want to this is the hand And grab the other hand, do the same thing. I am not talking. I'm not talking again. I'm being a stupid ass. But I want to smooth these animations out a little bit. Oh wait, we still want to do his head. His head needs to be straight all the time. Because you want to look, be looking straight forward or not. We could just make its head look like that sometimes. Look, he's chill. He's vibing. He's vibing. He's doing what he wants to do. He's he's walking like that. He's walking like that. Look, he's walking. Uh, but if we want to make this look better, we can, for example, go right here. Select all of his bones. Go into graph editor I said I selected all of the bones all of them there you go then we want to go key uh not key not channel not oh my god yeah you want to go uh smooth keys I mean it's looking a little better at first sight uh but you can make that even better okay so uh, what we're now what we're going to do now is just select all of these uh go to Smooth keyframes because we didn't do that properly before. Uh, okay, no, that's, that's not what we're supposed to do. Okay, so all. Let's see what happens if we just do... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sample keyframes. Nothing happens. Damn. What happens if we press Alt O? Damn, look at that smooth. Look at it. Look at it being smooth. Press Alt O again. 
damn it's smooth damn if you keep pressing it though it will eventually go like almost no movement so just don't do that so um uh am i still in post mode i selected all of them okay so uh so uh i'll say that again sample keyframes so shift alt o press alt o to make it look smooth as heck now you've got some smooth animation though wow look at that it's some smooth animation that's some hella smooth animation that's a nice walk cycle in my own opinion according to myself that's a nice ball cycle walk cycle look at this guy being happy as fuck though he's fucking happy oh I'll, 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 i will never say that word again i'm sorry and now we can just go ahead and animate his face uh you can just do that by pressing i and next frame you select another face like that and because we have auto thingy uh on it already does that for us and right here we want to press i again and go back to that face look at him being happy it's pretty it's quick it's, it's it but it's doable so um I saw someone that wanted me to make a face or just uh, not a face I am stupid a cape Oh, I'm getting sick and tired. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that in a separate video. Well, you're just gonna have to look at this cat doing his walk thingy. 